Hey everybody, Steve Rao here for 60 Cycle Hum, the guitar podcast. Today I want to take a few minutes to talk to you about originality, what it means to listen genuine. For 468 episodes now, 60 Cycle Hum has been building creative content across ages, media platforms, and people. All the way back to the turn of the turn of the mid-2010s with Ryan Burke's discoveries in two-person live room recording, to the later mid-2010s with Ryan Burke's perfection of the wheel of pedals, to our glamorous YouTube videos of 2015 and 2016, which confused potential buyers across multiple markets, to our bit characters and memes throughout the show's history that marked the boundary of social acceptance. 60 Cycle Hum has been inventing constantly. And today we want to talk to you about some of those inventions. First, the audio one, the big daddy of them all, the guitar podcast. This two host barely planned design was first released in 2014 and is as iconic to guitar podcasts as its name is to a thing sound engineers hate. From day one, we talked about the good and the bad in the used gear market for our own and anyone else's entertainment. In 2015, we released the Gas and Go short format demo video. It's now out of production. 2016 saw the wheel of pedals drop into your ear holes. This random gear swap contest is also now out of production. We also have NAM trips, Ryan's 2017 amp journey, as well as our most forward thinking concept, the reverb shootout. And one of the most requested pedal tests, does it drip? And not just our podcast and videos, but things like two or more people talking about guitars, that rambling hour long thing every week, the logo inside a guitar pick like you see in our videos and shirts, throwing gear off of high places and tall things, beards. Every one of these inventions and concepts are trademarks of 60 cycle hum. Does this matter? Probably for a few reasons. Friends ask us a lot about other guitar pad podcasts. You know, usually with a different audience coming in from overseas, but with some familiar delusions about what is fake and what a trademark infringement is. Any clone of any one of these inventions that we've named is definitely probably by definition rip off 60 cycle hum content. What does that mean? To the podcasters and creatives that listen, you now know that you're in big trouble. We're watching you and we're here to defend our short history and the inventions that we've designed over almost a decade. To those in the gear manufacturing and demo business, shoot us an email. We want to work with you. Stop making your own creative content. Also, making your own creative content is not enough to avoid trademark infringement. Hit us up. We will work with you. We want to be partners with you and get paid by you. We can bring genuine to your projects. And we're not being jerks or turds or trying to crush other podcasts or YouTube channels. This is about defending our history. Nearly six years of designing and inventing across media platforms. It's worth defending and it's Ryan's job. And we will continue to battle and defend our intellectual property. <laughs> to the listeners, what does this mean? Well, it goes back to what we started talking about, being original and listening genuine. 60 Cycle Hum's been putting cash in our equipment, workspace, gear, and into the pockets of the people working on the content we invent to make your 60 Cycle Hum experience the number one guitar experience and make the best content we've made in six years. And it's our target for the next six years to be the most watched, the most discussed, and the most shared guitar podcast in the world. Be interesting, listen genuine, and don't forget, only 60 Cycle Hum is number one. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> Love it. <laughs>